When I tell you niggas was hopping out the car like roaches, the brother is hopping his ass around, boom, boom, boom. He done pushed Mama Diamond or bumped her, whatever he caught himself doing. Get your ass on my face. Bitch, you better... Yeah, put that hoe. Yeah, put that Welcome back to my channel. Y'all, last week was crazy, wasn't it? We going up. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. I told y'all niggas. Y'all thought I was playing, but I told y'all niggas. Let's welcome all of our new subscribers. <laughs> welcome to my ghetto life. I'm back in front of my wall because it's story time. What's up, y'all? <laughs> you know what time it is. It's about to be that time. Follow my Instagram at underscore is Tempers and then follow my Snapchat at the Tempers. Oh, y'all. Go get y'all a drink. I found this cute little glass at Dollar Tree and it says it's my birthday month. You probably can't see it because whatever. So my birthday is next week, April 14th. Aries game. Smoking on Pookie Load tonight. So from the title, I'm sure y'all like, this girl is too grown to be out here fighting. Yes. Yes, I am. But what I'm starting to realize is that everybody got guns on them now. What happened to using guns for protection? Like if somebody was to break into your house, you know, somebody trying to kill you. Y'all using these guns for all the wrong purposes. Like, y'all using them to show people y'all got them for one. You're using them to try to scare another person who got a gun. Y'all using them for killing people who sleeping with your man when he was the one that gave up. Y'all killing people over cutting you off on the interstate, blowing a horn at you on the interstate. Y'all killing people over the color of their skin. I don't like fighting, but I would rather fight than get shot. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to start this story. <laughs> the main characters are me, my friend Asia, her mom, Diamond, my other friend Nate, Benji. Me, Benji, and Nate, we're all friends with Asia or whatever. So a couple of months ago, it was Asia's birthday. And we went to go visit Asia and surprise her for her birthday. Now, we had already had in our minds that we was going to stay the night. All this shit happened in less than 24 hours. When we first got there, we didn't know who apartment we was at because we never been to Asia apartment. This is her new apartment or whatever. So we get there. We get... We partying and stuff, you know, we eat. It was a nice little vibe for real. We was in there on the hookah. So anyway, Asia ended up coming home and we surprised her and everything. So we still partying because we was partying before she got there, of course, because she was a surprise party. So whatever. Um, We're partying and stuff like that. Y'all, out the blue, we hear boom, 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 boom. Now y'all. Go watch my video about Love Thy Neighbor or The Good Neighbors. I don't even know what I named the video, but it's definitely on how to be a good neighbor. And it's just tips on things that you should and should not do. So she's beating or whatever. So we quiet down a little bit because no disrespect, we don't live here. So after we quiet down, y'all, we definitely hear some loud ass music. The music is louder than our music. The walls got to be thin, okay? The walls just got to be thin, y'all. So y'all just put that in your head while we telling this story. So we turn our music up a little bit more. So we like, shit, they really can't hear us now. So we can just turn our party back up. Da -da -da. I guess at this point, the neighbors had already figured out, like, okay, they having a party. It ain't no way that we're going to have to stop their party if it's people over here. Like, that's going to make us look like bad neighbors. I'm assuming this is what they was thinking because it was nothing else the rest of the day. So mind y'all that whole day we're drinking and you know we going out that night we end up going to another we going up to we was smoking hookah at the house but anyway we end up going to a hookah bar and we drinking at the hookah bar. Before we go any further y'all me, Nate, and Benji 
we kind of like the same. We want our alcohol straight. I mean, I'll, I'll take a little juice, but all that sweet. But Asia is totally different. She is still itching to take us to this sugar factory. I don't want to go. It's too sweet for me. But, okay. And here's exactly why I do not like sweet drinks. We let her, we let her take us what she want to take us or whatever. But when we get there, we like, you know, we order our drinks and stuff. Asia just order rounds of shots. We taking the shots, y'all. These are the sweetest shots I ever had in my life. She's still ordering shots. Still sweet. She's still ordering shots. I don't know how many shots we is in this, at this point, y'all. We drinking our drinks. Everybody drank strong. We already been drinking this whole day. Everybody messed up. We get back to the house, y'all. It's about 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we had a friend over there or whatever. And, you know, they were a little too drunk. We're just going to say that, to say the least. And they wanted to pick a fight with me. I don't mind arguing with people. It's whatever. I really don't like it because at some point I'm going to piss you off or you're going to piss me off. And then we're going to start him below the belt. You're crossing lines and stuff like that. So now we're starting to make mental notes about each other like, oh, this person fake. You know, I really can't fuck them. Now, mind y'all, me and this person is arguing. But, you know, I'm trying to keep my cool because I'm drunk off sugar shots. They drunk off sugar shots. But no, shit just started going left. I'm not no punk. I'm not going to bat down for no fight, y'all. Now, if you pull the gun out, I might cry. Because I ain't trying to lose my life over no petty-ass argument at the end of the day. Y'all know I got my little channel, so they swear up and down. I'm a bougie bitch. I think that they think that we was on for love and hip-hop. I don't know. So we're arguing, and... They go on to say, bitch, I would throw this drink in your face. I'm like, shit, do what you got to do. I didn't say it exactly like that, but either way it go, the drink got thrown in my damn face, y'all. Get done, I don't want to see. I'm tired of you, bitch. You going to do me like that? You got me fucked up. I you do are shit me. Me. And I blacked the fuck out. There's anybody here. Don't want to get murdered? Because this person is larger than me. They can really like a town stump my little ass. I'm a little bit of bitch. I tell y'all that all the time. I'm checking my surroundings trying to see what's around me just in case this crazy ass person throw this drink in my face. Only thing I saw near me was a bottle of Hennessy, and I picked that thing up and. I don't fight, I don't argue, I just hit that bitch with a bottle. We are still upstairs with these crazy ass neighbors downstairs. I want y'all to keep that in mind. I want to be a well known person. I don't have a problem with that. I don't want to lose my damn life, my career, nothing behind some petty shit. Benji come out of nowhere from behind me. And lock my ass down, like just holding me. I can't even move. So now I'm being held for a good 30 minutes until I calm down. Because the other person has clearly calmed down at this point. But I'm not. So, you know, I'm basically sitting there like in a fucking straight jacket hole. There's no reason for me to want to pull a gun now and shoot them. Yes, I felt disrespected or whatever, and yes, it did go down the way it shouldn't have went down. All of that. I really shouldn't even have hit them with the ball, honestly. I probably should have just threw my dream back at them, but no. No. When you're mad or you blank out and stuff like that, you don't know what you would do in those type of situations. So the next day, y'all, we wake up and we like, what the hell happened last night? We thinking it's the end that we finna get our ass back on the road to go home. We need to regroup because what the fuck? We're gonna help Asia clean her apartment because we did just have a party the day before in her apartment. We are not those type of friends. Like, we like to clean up before we leave because it's trifling. She didn't plan this party. We did. So it was just like hella balloons everywhere, y'all. So we're like, 
popping the balloons. And so Benja like stepping on the balloons, Nate stepping on the balloons and stuff, you know. And if they know the neighbors again, doom, 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 doom. So Asia, like, damn, bitch, we cleaning up my apartment. Like, we ain't even making noise for real. We just trying to get shit up out of here. I found a knife or whatever, y'all. And so I'm like flying through the balloons. Pop, 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 pop. I'm just flying through the balloons. Don't, 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 don't. Now this shit got louder. Well, what the hell does she want us to do? Because we have to finish cleaning up. Then it ain't like we stumping up, got the music and nothing playing. We popping balloons. So my thing is, I'm finna finish popping these balloons. It probably like five more balloons. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. I'm like, y'all, let's get the shit. Let's get the fuck up out of here because these folks is crazy. I said, Asia, how the hell? How the hell do you live here? Like, these folk crazy. She tell me something. They just recently started doing that. So, we, like, walking through the um house, like, still picking up stuff. Something, like, I think it was, like, a selfie stick or something. A little tripod. I think it fell over. I don't know. Y'all, this girl come outside. Bring your ass outside, bitch! Asia lives here. So, Asia walks outside. They just yapping back and forth. Why the fuck is y'all making all that noise? She like, why the hell is you beating on the ceiling? But back and forth, the girl downstairs hollering at Asia. Asia hollering at the girl downstairs. They just doom, 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 going back and forth. Nate walks out there to make sure Asia cool or whatever. Like, girl, come in the house so we can finish cleaning up. We finna go. Girl, they were arguing. Let's call her Jamie. So next thing you know, like, Asia walks downstairs or whatever. And the girl is standing on, like, it's probably like two cars, like, right here. So this is the apartment building. It's a parking space right here. It's a parking space right there. It's a parking space right there. It's a parking space right there. Boom. The girl is standing in between these two cars, like, right here. Asia's walking to our car. But Asia's trying to reason with the girl, like, you know, if you can calm down, we can talk. Nah, bitch. Y'all too fucking loud. Da -da -da -da. So Asia's like, well, y'all just loud anyway. Like, y'all have y'all music and stuff playing while I'm at work. So the girl just instantly goes into bitch mode. You know how, like, we call each other bitches all day? But when we arguing, now these bitches are getting personal, bitch. You're not allowed to call me a bitch no more. Now Asia's still trying to breeze it with the girl, so she's like... I'm not going to be too many bitches. Like, you need to cut some of these out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like they literally are. So, at this point, me, Nate, and Benja, we, like, standing behind Asia. We weren't finna jump the girl or nothing like that. Benja tried to calm it down a little bit. The girl, like, hey, I don't know you. I'm not talking to you. I ain't talking to you either. So, the mama comes out. And now, the, the girl, what I call her, Jamie. Jamie mama come out and... Now the mama and Jamie is arguing to Asia. Like, they hollering at Asia. But you know how, like, sometimes when you argue with somebody for too long, you start running out of words. Like, you're not hearing what I'm saying, and I damn sure not trying to hear what you're saying because I'm trying to reason with you, and you're still trying to be disrespectful. That's just fight. I'm not finna be too many more bitches. You're not finna be keep bringing up my son. She was really out there trying to provoke Asia. Like, she wanted the girl to hit her. Like, get Asia, like, calm. We like, you know what? Forget this. It ain't worth it. Y'all is not coming to blows. Y'all not even coming to terms. Y'all, Benji want to be the peacemaker so bad. Benji snuck off over to the corner and has called Asia's mother. Asia them out here fighting with the neighbors, the girl being disrespectful to Asia is too much. The moment it came outside, everybody arguing. I'm sure that's how he delivered the message because this is what happened next. Y'all, we taking the trash to the dumpster. So on the way back from the dumpster, Asia's mother is on the phone and she's like, What is going on? I'm on the way. I'm finna help you defuse this shit. Whatever. Asia is like, Mama, you don't have to come or anything. You know, we already defused the situation. Like, we on our way to get something to eat. Miss Diamond is on the phone like, Drop your location. I'm about to pull up right now. I got my niggas with me. And they don't give a fuck about life. Here, nigga, you take mine then. We got two of them. Nigga, let's go. We got two of these motherfuckers. Nigga, I'm on my way. Let's roll, friends. We need to be being civilized about the situation and there's no reason to leave a situation empty like that or you know oh we just got finished arguing so we're gonna walk away from it especially if we live 
around each other. You know what I'm saying? That's just a lot. People start messing with your car. They start messing with your child. You, you just never know. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, so the police pull up and stuff like that, y'all. The police didn't even come in the car. The police go talk to the neighbors and stuff like that. They was over there for about, let's say, five minutes or whatever. The police leave. But while the police were there, y'all, I see, like, three cars flying but slamming on brakes right here at the turn. Now, after the police car leave, you see the same three cars that come flying in. They parking their car. When I tell you niggas was hopping out the car like roaches, if I ain't never seen a family ride deep before, I saw it that day. They get out the car and they headed straight to the neighbor's door. Now, what y'all did to my little cousin? So Asia is like... You shouldn't have called my mama. We see Miss Diamond. We call her mama. But we well we say Mama Diamond. So we see Mama Diamond come over to the car. Benji like Mama. Mama, why are these damn people came with you? What the hell is going on? Nathan, we finna go take pictures. Y'all called us while we was on the way to go take pictures. So we just tried to pull up and see what was up before we go take pictures. Bitches had they weave intact, they wigs and stuff was laid. I'm talking about the baby hairs was on swoop. The curls was Flowing in the wind, like they was cute. They was some bad bitches, and not gonna lie, they was ready to go take pictures. Is what I'm saying. But they also looked like they would have stopped to beat your ass on the way to go take pictures, basically. So they say, you know, Jamie called her brother and his girlfriend. They pull up. Brother is hot. Oh, he 38. What y'all doing? To my mama out here. What y'all doing? To my sister out here. What y'all doing? So everybody looking at him like don't 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 do it don't don't do it y'all he ran in the house they let the dog go the dog running around sniffing everybody playing he think we out there playing baby your owners is in trouble now everybody out here arguing at this point so me benji and nate still sitting in the car <laughs> i said benji we gotta get out the car Benji like, no, we got to go home. First of all, mama didn't even bring no male cousins. These are all females. They got guns and shit all in their back pocket. Benji ends up telling me, if this boy hits one of these girls out here, I'm going to have to be his ass. Even though these girls probably going to be his tail. I'm over here like talking to one of the cousins. Like they on their phone, like dead ass, not paying him no mind. So I'm like holding one of the cousins like, come on, ain't you driving? Y'all, my little bit of self wasn't even holding her back. And I just feel like they was laughing at me because they they had to be thinking like, what is this little bit of bitch doing? Like, I know she don't think she holding anybody back. Next thing you know, one of the cousins that I'm holding back break loose from me and was just like, you got, you the, got wrong the wrong bitch, bitch the right gangster right, 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 motherfucker. You get in the car, let's go. Benji, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Mama Diamond still got like cool, calm, collected vibes, but she a little crump. I'm gonna give her this. She was about a little crump talking to the mama. The brother is hopping his ass around, boom, boom, boom. He done pushed Mama Diamond or bumped her, whatever he caught himself doing. Get your ass on my face. So now I'm trying to hold Mama Diamond back like Mama Diamond got to get in the car at this point. Yeah, we was out there arguing for about two, three hours. And when we was first arguing the first time, it was some kids across the street. They was playing, minding their own damn business. Now these kids have crawled their ass in the tree and they're watching us. Neighbors and shit open up their doors. They coming outside, leaning over their little balconies, getting them some little peak time in. Jamie and her mama came outside. Jamie came outside with some boxer briefs on with a crop top and one of those blonde wigs. And I'm not talking about honey blonde. I'm talking about platinum blonde. It was crooked to the side and it was stiff. So it was time for it to come out. I can only imagine how mad she was to sit up here and be arguing with some cute bitches like this. You probably just get mad about a minute, ain't it? Bling, bling, bling. Bitches is mad. <laughs> the mama came outside with the little 27 piece on like she been laying on it all day. She had on a little African muumu V cut right here so you can see the titties. It was a mess. I'm not gonna lie. 
the mama tell me something she been living there for 10 years and everybody that move upstairs be too loud baby why you just want to ask them to get that apartment when it becomes available that way you ain't got to worry about that better yet move your ass out of them apartments so my thing is like i feel like she called the police to make it seem like she got receipts on asia bullying her but no y'all acting a fool because here come the back story here go the plot twist y'all so you know i'm asking asia like do y'all know each other y'all sleeping with the same man do your mama know her do the mama know the other mama is the mama and the mama sleep with the same man what is the problem because we almost got thrown in a situation that we don't know nothing about. We thinking it's done from us being too loud from a party. Y'all should have heard how this girl was trying to come for my friend. Friend only been living out there two months before we came out there or whatever. She said when they was moving in, her key ended up breaking off inside of her lock or whatever. So her mom stayed at the house while she went to go handle her business. This parking space, I guess because it's closer to their apartment, I guess they feel like they're obligated to have that parking space or whatever. But they wasn't home at the time, so Mama Diamond ended up parking her car right there or whatever, you know, just so she can help take some stuff upstairs to move her daughter in. So when the mom come home, she like cutting the rug outside because you really can hear everything. Who parked in my parking space? Who car this is? Duh, they need to move their car. Duh. She making all this noise outside, but let her, she didn't knock and she didn't knock on nobody though, and ain't ask nobody to move their car. What she did was park her car. I don't know how I'm making this parking lot look to y'all, but the mama car right here, and so um, Mama Diamond car was parked inside the parking spot. The mama pulled in to block Mama Diamond car in and while she getting out the car she talking a whole bunch of crap mom down was getting ready to leave or something like that but clearly if this lady has a crazy attitude about a parking spot when it was a parking spot literally right next to she could have parked her car in the second parking spot y'all if you get if you get out the car and somebody acting dang on fool over the parking spot i think my first thought would be to call the police because i'm not finna go try to ask you to move your car i think that's exactly what everything kind of like scare it up from or whatever like what a beef and all this stuff kind of like underlaid we taking asia to her car but we actually following the cousins there because we we was just finna fight together we might as well go eat together what y'all finna do when we all tell y'all the family got bigger and bigger we pull up onto my it's just a yard full of people and they was definitely finna go take pictures i'm <laughs> i'm glad we didn't fight because i'm glad to be here today because what if it was a lot of us and you know when people start losing in a fight or whatever they really do pull their guns out and stuff or you know if it's other people let's say the little girlfriend i ain't saying nothing about the brother girlfriend she would have been the crazy bitch that went in the house and got the knife and stabbed somebody in the back or she would have been the crazy bitch that went and found the gun and came out to acting a fool she would have called the police anything could have happened we could have got shot and went to jail or whatever all i'm saying shit just go left real fast i don't even know what to say y'all i just really wanted to tell that story because i thought it was funny as hell but i don't be out here fighting y'all i don't i don't do that no more to fight with these niggas this shit don't count it do i try to avoid fights i be trying to handle situations like an adult i mean we can talk it out we can argue it out i don't know but that's the end of my story, y'all. So if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, comment below, share my video with all y'all ghetto friends. The ghetto. The ghetto. And subscribe to my channel. What's your goddamn button? What's your goddamn button? See y'all in my next video. I love y'all. Bye. Let's go. Drop it down, drop it down low. Drop down. Drop it down, drop it down low.